हे गाईज दिस इज दर्शन लोखंडे आय एम अ प्री फायनल इयर बी टेक सी एस सी स्टुडंट ॲट ट्रिपल आय टी पुणे वेलकम टू आर चॅनल लर्न कॉम्पिटेटिव्ह प्रोग्रामिंग विथ कोडशेअर इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग अँड वॉन्ट टू लर्न डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स अँड अल्गोरिदम्स दिस इज द वन स्टॉप डेस्टिनेशन फॉर यू वी पोस्ट वीकली प्रॉब्लेम एक्सप्लेनेशन अँड कॉन्सेप्ट व्हिडिओज सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू सबस्क्राईब टू आर चॅनल बाय हिटिंग दॅट सबस्क्राईब बटन अँड ऑल्सो द बेल आयकन The problem that we are going to discuss today is world record. The problem appeared in April 21 long challenge and has a difficulty level of cakewalk. There are no prerequisites to solve this problem, meaning that even a beginner can easily solve this problem. The problem statement goes as follows. We are given chef's max speed V during the practice and the three factors K1, K2, K3 affecting the speed. Based on this data, we have to find whether chef will be able to create a new world record. That is, can he complete 100 meters in less than 9.58 seconds? So, the unit of V given to us will be in meter per seconds and there will be three factors deciding the speed in the actual race. So, for example, if you see a test case over here, there are three factors namely K1, K2 and K3 where K1 is 1, K2 is 1 and K3 is 0.9 and the maximum speed of chef during the practice is 10.44 meters per second. Now, based on this data, we have to tell what will be the time taken by chef during the actual race and is it less than 9.58 seconds? Because if it is less, then yes, he will create a new world record. If not, then he will not create. So the solution approach is pretty simple. We'll understand the same using the same example that we have over here. So first of all, we need to find the speed of chef in the actual race. So it depends on all these four things. That is the maximum speed V and K1, K2, K3. So the, in the speed of chef during the race, let's call it uh, speed. So speed can be calculated as K1 into K2 into K3 into V because the factors are multiplied and they finally get multiplied with the maximum speed during practice. And you can understand the same using the sample test case explanation that was given below the question statement. I hope everyone has read that. So once we have this speed, then we need to find the time taken. So time taken to complete 100 meters race can be easily just calculated by 100 divided by the speed that we have calculated and that will give us the time in seconds, right? And now we just have to check whether the time that we have got over here is this less than 9.58. If it is, then our answer is yes or else our answer is no. So pretty simple, right? So let's calculate the same for this test case. So over here we have K1 as 1, K2 as 1 and K3 as 0.9. So the speed in the actual race will be nothing but 1 into 1 into 0.9 into 10.44. If you calculate the same, it comes out to be 9.396 meters per second. But wait, that is only the speed. We have to actually find the time for world record. So the time can now be found by dividing 100 divided by 9.396. 396 and this quantity if you calculate it comes out to be 10.643 seconds okay so this is the final time that chef is going to take to complete 100 meters in the race but wait it is told in the question that we have to round off up to two decimal places so if we round it off it will be nothing but 10.64 so you have to just check whether 10.64 is less than 9.58 or not. As we can see here that it is clearly greater than 9.58. So the answer is going to be no. Solution is pretty simple. Now let's move to the Python implementation. Before we start with the implementation, I would like to tell you guys about the CP tutorials that we have on CodeChef. Uh, under these mini courses or CP tutorials, which you can find over here, there are many courses taken by our educators for free, of course, on almost all topics there are to cover in competitive programming like DSU, DP, Fenwick trees, basically everything. And 
starting from the very beginning as well like building blocks of programming so you can head over here and have a look at these free courses which will be on an academy but if you want even more structured content with doubt solving you know curated content and specialized problems just for you you can even opt for our plus subscription and while doing so don't forget to use my referral code darshankul25 to get instant 10% discount okay now let's move towards the implementation so the python implementation starts with taking the input for number of test cases so i just take t as the number of test cases now for each test case uh, that is for underscore in range <coughs> T. For each test case, I have to take the input for the four things. That is V, K1, K2, K3. So I'll just do that. So the order was actually K1, K2, K3, and then V. So I'll just take the input. And as they are floating point numbers, so float x for x in input dot split. So that completes with the input. Now I have to calculate this actual speed in the race. So speed is is, not, is nothing but k1 into k2 into k3 into v then i have to calculate the time so time is nothing but 100 divided by speed but that's not all we have to round it off to two decimal places so that can be easily done in python by just using the round function so i can just round off time to two decimal places and then i have to just check if time is less than 9.58 then my answer is yes or else my answer is no so that completes with the python implementation i chose python for this question because there is a round function and it's handy to use you can implement the same in other languages as well <coughs>